Good morning, folks. Well, the quiet on the sun didn't last long. Solar flaring has returned. We've got a tightened watch for eruptions starting this weekend. We'll get some good graphics, cosmology, and galactic astrophysics as well here. And we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find the incoming active region behaving like many of us figured it eventually would. We also have a coronal hole incoming on the north, dark patch you see top left there. The southern incoming sunspots released an M7 solar flare yesterday afternoon, and we'll zoom in on that here. You can see the flare light and the plasma ejecting. Luckily, it was not a very wide burst, and it will miss the Earth. But the sunspot will be facing us in the coming days, and we'll be all eyes on it. We did take some geomagnetic effects yesterday from a solar wind enhancement, phi angle flip leading to a level 2 geomagnetic storm condition. It is waning back this morning. The European Space Agency puts out this graphic pretty much every time we get a big geomagnetic storm, and I never get tired of seeing it. You can find it at the link below visualizing the main impacts of space weather on our technological world. Interesting article out on dark energy. They are now saying it appears to be changing over time, which is a very fun way of letting us all know the constants they've used to construct their paradigm of the cosmos are wrong. Veteran observers remember, it is likely that dark energy is actually just magnetic repulsion. Many of you caught our video last night. It's been a decade since we did deep dives into the topic of planetary geometry and earthquakes. And a quick word to those who were commenting, yeah, but okay, how many times do we get alignments and there isn't a big quake? Doesn't that disprove this? No, because with alignments on approximately 4% of days, having 70 to 75% of the big ones during alignments is very significant. But even if that weren't true, 80% of fingers are not thumbs. You're going to tell me that thumbs and fingers aren't correlated? 95% of bullets ever fired from guns hit nobody, and I guess pulling a trigger has no correlation to gunshot wounds. See how dumb that sounds? Good. Lastly, folks, awesome observational data by Chandra with a garbage hypothesis of explanation to go with it. They've spotted the northern plasma and material outflow at the chimney of the galactic center. Now, the problem comes when they discuss this in terms of the central black hole of the galaxy. You know, I still remember when nothing could escape a black hole. In truth, this is where the outflow occurs because of the electromagnetic setup of the large-scale coherent field of the galaxy along the north-south polar axis. It's expected as part of the polar, toroidal, equatorial, and current sheet dynamics, and that is why the chimney is there. Anyway, we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.